Hey guys, what's up? By Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is the Pekka Walk at Town Hall 9. It's something that uh, doesn't make or break an attack usually, but it's an efficient way to get your funneling done, at least that first layer. I recommend you guys go back a few videos if you haven't already. Take a look at my How to Funnel Bowlers, a very long, like 25 minute guide that goes into great detail because oftentimes you're using bowlers, so You'll, you'll know more what I'm talking about if you check that out. But that initial first layer of buildings, this is a great way to take that out, create the funnel if you're using Valks, if you're using Bowlers, uh, your heroes obviously, pretty much whatever is in your kill squad. Uh, because people are finding that Peckers are very effective at Town Hall 9, especially when there's healers on them. Because unlike Giants or troops that have lower HP, the Pekkas can get very low. But if there's a period of time where healers are raged up, they can get those Pekkas back up to full health. Whereas with Giants, once they're dead, that's it. You can't heal a dead Giant. But the Pekkas have the ability to go low in health but get healed back up when they have the opportunity. So they're an effective troop at Town Hall 9. I've been talking about them for the last like month, I guess. Um, and we've seen them on and off on the channel, but we're definitely seeing these attacks, usually one or two, sometimes more each war that utilize the P.E.K.K.A.s. So let's take a look at an example. And this was an awesome P.E.K.K.A. walk by Last Spartan. It's actually a double P.E.K.K.A. walk. Um, notice how he drops down the baby dragons. Probably didn't need to use baby dragons. That might have been a little bit bit excessive but there was the point defense in the area so you wanted to make sure he got the funnel because you still have to funnel your pekkas that's another point to make i don't sorry for pausing the video i know it gets, it gets annoying when people pause the video too much but basically uh you need to funnel the pekkas as well you know what direction you want them to walk you want them to walk towards where you're entering the base so he's going to enter the base in this case by these storages i believe so he's going to have the pekkas both walk in that direction but he needs to make sure they do so by taking out a few crucial buildings to ensure they head the right direction. You can't just drop them down and expect them to go the correct way unless there's a gap in the base with the trash buildings. Um, even though the P.E.K.K.A.s are doing the funneling, something still has to funnel them, if that makes sense. So the P.E.K.K.A.s go down. Um, he's going to drop the healers on each side. I think two healers for each. Uh, let's let those guys start walking. He goes ahead and uses the King along with one of the P.E.K.K.A.s, um, which was kind of funny. The King isn't quite as good for this because he doesn't get healed up as quickly. There's the, I think, half damage reduction uh, when you're healing a hero. Uh, same goes for the queen. She's not as effective, uh, even though we see so many queen walks. But anyway, everything meets up at the middle, and you can see how good of a job he did creating the funnel. Not always going to be perfect for bowlers. One more thing I want to say. Um, for bowlers, they need that second layer of funneling, so that's why I really encourage you to take a look at the, uh, the tutorial. I made a few videos back on exactly how to funnel bowlers into the base, because they need second layer of funneling, which the, the uh, P.E.K.K.A.s won't do, but if you're using Valks, which you'll see in the next attack, um, just funneling out that initial layer of buildings is almost always going to be enough, and you can make that funnel so wide if your P.E.K.K.A. walks, you know, uh, three, four trash buildings, you can make it wide enough that the uh, the Valks have nowhere to go but into the base. And one thing I want to add, make sure, like especially on this base, if you look at all these trash buildings at the bottom, uh, bottom left area, how close together they are, because the King, Pekkas, any kind of troop that doesn't have any range, uh, they can be known to target a wall if the nearest trash building is too far. So if there's army camps, if there's spread out uh, buildings, things where they're going to have to walk a great distance between uh, buildings, that's when you want to be a little bit cautious about using this because you don't want your P.E.K.K.A.s to stop and have to swing through the wall, which you, you'll kind of see in the next attack I'm going to show. Uh, that kind of is what happened, but it still worked out okay. So let's go ahead and fast forward. He crushed this base. Um, when P.E.K.K.A.s are used correctly, they seem to work. And one thing, I don't see many failed P.E.K.K.A. attacks at Town Hall 9. When people bring P.E.K.K.A.s, they seem to work. So I think people could utilize them a little bit more than they do. But, you know, other st strategies are still powerful at Town Hall 9. So people are probably more comfortable, I guess, with those. Uh, this next attack is by Nate. You can see he has just one P.E.K.K.A. And uh, there's the baby dragon up top. Just to take out some uh, trash buildings. Create the, the funnel for the queen. He goes ahead and I think drops four healers. Three or four. Probably four healers on her. Um, lets her kind of start on her walk. She's going to basically create the funnel from the top side. And... There's the CC lure. Just can get that lured out. Let the queen deal with it. Very easy lure. Uh, people sometimes put their CC by the queen, which I don't really get. I think it's more effective in the middle. 
But for whatever reason, we see that uh, a little bit. Maybe you guys know in the comments why that is the case. Uh, so yeah, the queen keeps walking through, goes ahead and drops down a baby dragon. Not sure what that was for, but um, I guess it'll... I guess to follow the queen to the base, he wants the queen to actually enter the compartment right there and engage both the heroes. So he has the rages to keep her up. Um, he already popped the ability for the CC troops. Right there, she takes some damage from the air defense. Now, right there is the P.E.K.K.A. And I'm so sorry I missed. He probably took out these three buildings. I was kind of spacing out, getting distracted on the queen walk. But I'm sure he took out probably some of these buildings with like a baby dragon or some minions probably. And then drops down the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. just logically walks the direction uh, that, the, that the trail leads by, by um, leaving the, those trash buildings to lead it along. Uh, right here is a little bit of a tricky location because um, it goes from the elixir storage to the mortar and the Valks are already down. Maybe a little bit early on the Valks. The Queen goes down up top too. I think he was kind of trying to do everything at once, which is difficult to do when there's so much going on in one attack. But the point is the P.E.K.K.A. Um, is going to beat its way through the wall here into that Wizard Tower compartment. Still has the healers on it. It's tanking the Expo, so that's all good. And like I said, um, if, if this was like a Giant or something, because people used to use Giants a lot for HG, HB, um, the Giant probably would be dead by now, but the P.E.K.K.A. It can afford to go down a little ways in health. It actually only went down about a, a quarter of its health, so it can go down way farther. And then when that building gets destroyed, when the Expo goes down, that's the chance for it to get healed back up under those Raged Healers. And effectively, you haven't lost any troops because the P.E.K.K.A. is back to full health, and you still have the Healers. So it's a very... Um, it's a very effective troop if you use it correctly and if it doesn't take too much damage to the point where it actually dies before it can be healed back up. So nice attack to Nate. Uh, there is a test the farm at the end, so things get a little bit close here, but um, he has quite a few troops. Had a few Valks. I'm not sure where those came from. Uh, or, <laughs> yeah, the Valks were the main course, I think, actually. Uh, what am I saying? Yeah, the Valks sent quite a few of those into the base, and a few of them went uh, around the outside. Has some bowlers, and I think, is there a P.E.K.K.A. or two left up? Or only, is that one P.E.K.K.A. he used left up? Guess not. So the P.E.K.K.A. did go down, but you know they're always going to do a good job taking. As far as how much HP, I think they are, you know, not nearly what a Golem is, but I think they're, besides the Lava Hound and the Golem, I think they have more hit points than a Dragon. Um, I'm not sure the exact numbers, but they have quite a bit of hit points for a ground troop, and they do a ton of damage, so as long as they don't get too caught up on, like, skelly traps and stuff, they can make their way through the base very quickly, and, uh, the P.E.K.K.A. walk, which is the main point of this video, it's always a great way to start off if you're using P.E.K.K.A.s, um, they tank for point defense, sorry about that, they tank for point defense, they create a great funnel, uh, especially for Valks and stuff that only needs that first layer of funneling. Bowlers are a little bit of a different story, like I've said twice in this video. I'm not going to do another plug to that video. Uh, that would just be too shameless. So yeah, thanks for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something from this. And for those of you Town Hall 9s out there, maybe you can use this in one of your next war attacks. I always encourage people to try out Pekka's at Town Hall 9. They're a fun troop to use, and I think that they are effective. Uh, along with bowlers and uh, Valks, a lot of these powerful troops can kind of just make their way through a Town Hall 9 base and overpower it in a way. So yeah, uh, I'm going to stop talking and end this video. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.